Hey guys, uh, here's a really cool integral, and um, yeah, uh, it's fun because it's got a lot of interesting algebra and so many other cool things about it. Uh, so let's get started so we can discover them all. So at the start, uh, you need to realize that x squared um, plus 1 divides this. And, um, and you could realize that because i is a 0 of uh, the polynomial x to the 6th plus 1. And if i is a 0, so is negative i. So you know that you've got factors x minus i times x plus i, which are going to make um, x squared plus 1. So that's how you know that x squared plus 1 um, divides this. And of course, if you divided uh, x to the 6th plus 1 by x squared plus 1, you'll see that um, the quotient is going to be x to the 4th minus x squared plus 1. So then the question that remains is, can we factor this some more? And we can. And this is how. Well, observe that um, I could write in place of x to the 4th uh, minus x squared plus 1, I could write um, x to the 4th uh, plus 2x squared plus 1 minus 3x squared. Why does it suit me to do that? Because um, this is a perfect square. That's why I want that. And they're the same because this guy and this guy combine to that, and everything else is the same in both, right? Okay, cool. All right, so then um, we turn that into the perfect square that we uh, reckon that it is, which is x squared plus 1 all squared. And then we're going to force this guy to be a perfect square by writing minus x root 3 all squared. And then now you can see that this factors as x squared plus 1 minus x root 3 um, times x squared plus 1 plus x root 3. Okay, these are the two factors um, of uh, this, and therefore x to the 6th plus 1 breaks into this times that times that. Yeah? Okay, cool. So, our integral now will look as follows then, um, which is, uh, I think my pencil is like a little thinner, thicker than I want it to be. So let me, uh, yeah, totally thicker, much thicker than my normal preference. That's good. Okay. All right. So, um, let's rewrite our integral. Our integral is going to be the following then. It's going to be the integral of one divided by yeah. Okay, I like that one. It's vertical. 1 divided by... And we just did all this work to factor x to the 6th plus 1. So it's going to be x squared plus 1 times um, x squared plus x root 3 uh, plus 1 times uh, x squared minus x root 3 uh, plus 1. And of course, it's a dx. Right? And... Um, Cool, and I'll write the dx on this side instead of here, which I can do, and I actually intentionally want it to be on this side. Now, all this other work that we did, we don't need, so let's delete. Um, oh, wait, I guess I, can, I gotta get rid of that tool before I could do this. Okay, here we go. All right, so, uh, where to from here? Well, you should realize that every time you uh, come to a place like this, you have to use partial fraction decomposition. So we're going to take this guy and figure out its partial fraction decomposition. Now, look at uh, what will be the denominators of the three rational expressions into which we'll break it up. Uh, all of them are quadratics, so their numerators must assume linear forms. So uh, we claim that what we have here uh, this guy, which is the inside of our integral, basically. So, so, but let's get rid of the dx and the integral symbol for a second, um, and have this guy alone. So we're saying that this guy is going to equal. Um, well, as I said, each of uh, the numerators for these guys is going to have to assume a numer uh, a linear form, a numerator form, a linear form, uh, which is ax plus b and then uh, plus cx plus d, and then uh, plus uh, ex plus f. Okay, now if you do this well, 
you'll see that, uh, and of course the denominators are x squared plus one. Since we met after Nicole, let's say that this one is the plus. Nicole, it's hard to imagine the life we used to have. I, obviously, I'm not going to, you know, like go through all the work, the partial fraction decomposition work. You should know that. Um, maybe I'll do a video example exactly with this, uh, but but you know that'd make this video way too long. So uh, if you solve it um, carefully, then you should find that a is equal to zero, b is equal to a third, c is equal to root three over six. D is equal to a third, so a third repeats a number of times. Um, e is equal to uh, negative root three over six, and then f is equal to um, a third. Okay, cool. So basically, we can come back and replace all of these guys. Notice that a is zero, so that means this whole term is gone, and so we don't need the plus sign either. And b is a third. So we just have a third in the numerator here. And let's write in black. So similarly, replacing all the others, we'll have We just begin again. Okay, cool. Now this integral is pretty simple. Remember, this is um, equal to that. And so all we need to do is just bring back our integral sign in dx and now it's equal to our integral. And so then that's all we have to do in these three parts also, dx, Boom. Um, and then plus sign, I guess, abusively, we already have it right there, but yeah, sure. Um, DX, boom. And then finally, right there, and then um, DX, done. So all we have left to do is figure out this integral, this integral, and this integral, and we'll be done. Well, the first one is fairly straightforward. It's one third um, arc 10 X. But these are a pain. Let's start with this guy. So what is that guy? And how in the world are we going to be able to solve it? Well, let's isolate him and figure it out over here. Well, look. So this guy, right? We would try to do u substitution is my guess, right? But if we make a u substitution, we'd pick x squared plus x root 3 because that's the only way we'd make real progress that to be u. But look at du. du is 2x plus root 3 um, dx. And that ain't exactly what we have in this numerator. So what do we do? Well, let's just change this numerator to be exactly what we want. Exactly what we want right here. And then we'll figure out how to make up for it. Okay? All right. So just have faith in me. All right. So we write the this is equal to the integral of the integral of what the integral of um, exactly what we want in the numerator to x plus root three and then of course the denominator we want to say to stay the same so our uh, denominator can be u and then um, the stupid things and the numerator then will be du, so we have du over u, so we're just gonna say ln of u, and we'll be done. Well, not so quick. Why? Well, while it's true that this u and this du work out perfectly, and what I have written right here, um, this thing is not equal to this thing. So how do we make up, make up for that? Uh, how do we make them equal? Well, for starters, how about uh, a root three over 12 in front of this integral. We still have to do more, but let's do this to start. And I'll just write what we have to do um, 
what more we have to do. And that's 1 over 12. Okay, this is what we have to do. Now, um, why you say? Because this is important because if we distributed it, and imagine just distributing it to the numerator, then we have to multiply this and that, and when we do, look at what we get. We get root 3 over 12 times 2, which is going to be root 3 over 6, and we like that because that's right there. Good. So the x term having this brings equality. What about the constant? Well, there we're going to get root 3 uh, over 12 times root 3, which is 3 over 12, which is a quarter, not a third. Close. But a quarter and a third are only different by a twelfth. In other words, what we have is a quarter, which is 3 over 12, but if we add 1 over 12 to this numerator, then it's going to give us 4 over 12, which, which will be our third, and so we're in business. But adding 1 over 12 to this numerator here and to that constant means adding this whole integral, uh, and that's why we have that right there. And this is actually fantastic because um, now that we've done all this uh, laborious work on this part, we're just going to use a symmetry of the problem over here to uh, quickly do away with that. So we're going to deal with this guy in very similar fashion. Uh, now, first off, before I move on, let's acknowledge that this here is the same as this here, which in turn is the same as these two. So I could just write this in place of that. Okay, so let's acknowledge that much. All right, cool. And so that way I can delete a bunch of unnecessary stuff I have here. Um, okay. And of course, as we've already identified, the integral of that is right here. So let's continue writing. Uh, we say this is that, and then this here, which is that, will have the following integral, which is plus... Uh, root 3 over 12 and this we already worked out using u substitution is just going to be ln of u because this is u and that's exactly du so we'll have du over u so it's this and then ln of um, x plus x root 3 plus 1 and then um, that's that part so we could just delete that we don't need it anymore and what about the other guy? This guy is a little bit more work. So let's uh, put him over here and then move on. So as I've already said, this guy is going to similarly work out to how this guy worked out. So what we're going to have um, that is uh, from it, we're going to have a negative uh, root 3 over 12. Um, and then it's going to be ln of, um, it's going to be uh, ln of, uh, x uh, minus x root 3 uh, plus 1 and uh, I know it's tempting to think that then we have to subtract uh, 1 over 12 but we have to add 1 over 12 of um, well that guy one yeah of 1 divided by that guy which is um, and and if you're unsure or you think I made a mistake which I didn't then you could double check me but it's got to be this um, okay so then we have this DX so we will be free the minute we figure out how to deal with these two guys. And we're almost there, guys, so uh, don't worry. I'm exhausted because uh, it's like pretty late here, uh, but I have to, I'm determined to finish here because we're almost there. So let's just take care of that. How does that work? Well, let's ignore this and just work on the integral. So the integral part, I think we could write the bottom as a perfect square if we write x plus um, root 3 over 2 all squared because what is this going to be it's going to be it's going to be x squared uh, plus 2 times x times um, uh, root 3 over 2 and so that's going to be root 3x and then it's going to be plus root 3 over 2 squared which is like 3 over 4 and that's not 1 it's almost 1 so we need to make up with a 1, with a one over 4 so basically what I'm saying is if you put 
um, a 1 over 4 here, then uh, this thing is now identical to that. Yeah, okay, and why does that, why do we care? Because now you could say, um, you could say that this is the integral of uh, 1 over, and then it's going to be um, x plus, well, no, it's not going to be x plus, it's going to be 2x plus root 3 all over 2 over 4, um, and then plus 1 over 4. So, you see, you can uh, factor out a 1 over 4 in the denominator, uh, which is same as multiplying by 4, so you, you'll have 4, and then integral 1 over um, 2x plus root 3 uh, squared plus 1, so that you can say 10 inverse. Yeah? Okay, cool. So this 4 here is going to um, turn this into uh, 4 over 12, and therefore a third. Um, but then after that, we could uh, write this. So let's do that. What do you really dream of at night? A name for you girls. What's in a name? They got a name for you girls. What's in a name? They got a name for everything. All of the clothes that you wear. And we just said this is 4 over 12, so that's 1 third. I'm so exhausted, it's 1 a.m., and why the heck am I making integrals at 1 a.m.? And um, we said we'd have 1 over, um, and then it's uh, 1 plus uh, 2x plus root 3 um, squared dx. Cool. And that's going to be arctan of 2x plus root 3, but... Um, Chain rule will say that we have to multiply by 2, which we don't have here, so we have to divide by 2 instead. That'll make that a sixth. So I really want to finish, so I'll uh, cheat that way instead of showing that more clearly. So um, this is uh, going to be a sixth. Um, and then it's arctan um, of 2x plus root 3, as I've already said. And so we have this guy there, and uh, let's see if we can copy and paste him. And we've actually very efficiently done this. No, 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 not that. Come on. Um, uh, ah, I can't copy and paste that, so I'll just write it right here. Minus root 3 over 12. Uh, natural log of, um, sorry about the language. Uh, and I song just now, if you heard it, if you didn't hear it. Okay, good. Um, and then the, this last part, you guessed it, is going to work out very similar to that. So it's going to be 1 over 6. Um, and then it's going to be arctan, uh, this time, of 2x minus root 3. And then plus c, and I'll put a giant fat c there. Done. Happy. Take care.